Elon Musk has already brought the future with electric cars and the inevitable colonization of Mars. So of course he would change robotics forever too. Honestly, what took him so long? In 2021, Musk and Tesla Motors raised a lot of eyebrows by having an actor walk around in some sort of weird Tron outfit to announce that they were working on the Tesla Bot, as they called it then. This was like presenting an outline to your teacher the day your essays do. It wasn't even an Iron Man style exosuit, it was just a weird costume that looked really, really uncomfortable and not at all impressive. 2022's presentation was a huge improvement. That's because he showed up with an honest-to-god robot. No actor necessary. The shaky optimist took the stage and Musk went through his technical skills. The robot can walk, can use a screwdriver, can speak, can see, can hear, and can move around pretty well. What Musk sold the most was the robot's brain, though. He said the AI brain of other robots, like those from from Boston Dynamics are what is lacking in modern robotics. He promised that the AI used for Optimus will be the best there is. Of course, judging from that name, it's clear what the future for this project is going to be. If you didn't catch it, this robot is named after the leader of all robot leaders, Optimus Prime of the Transformers. All Tesla needs to do is create a robot that can transform and roll out into an electric car. They've already got the robot bot and the car part down, all the engineers have to do is design a matrix of leadership. No biggie. So what's the big deal with this robot exactly? Sure, it's cool that it can walk around and stuff, but why is Elon Musk making such a big deal about it? I mean, he's literally made claims that this invention will change society as we know it. He even went so far as to say that it will eliminate poverty altogether. <laughs> His dream is for a general, all-purpose robot that is so useful that its purposes could basically be infinite. Workers that can do everything humans could do could potentially take production through the roof and make it so many humans no longer need to actually work to survive. This utopia presents the optimistic dream of a robotic future, one that could make the next generation of humans quite comfortable indeed. What's special about this project isn't any one thing about the robot, but the projected cost of building one. Musk said that the robot could be mass-produced to the point that they could be everywhere for a relatively low cost. He said that they could be worth less than some new cars with a potential price of $20,000. Compare this against the $75,000 for a Boston Dynamics robot, and you see just how big the savings are. Then there's the aggressive timetable he put up for mass production. He wants this product ready for sale in three to five years. That means means you could get a Tesla Robo Worker for your home sooner than we're likely to see the next Star Wars movie. Of course, it's hard for any non-robotics people to truly understand if this is that big of a deal or not. So what do people in that world have to say? Well, Dennis Hong, an engineer for Robotics and Mechanisms Laboratory, or Romola, was very excited. While he was super pumped about all of Musk's promises, he was most impressed about the small timetable the folks at Tesla were able to construct this in. While he had some issues with some of the model's functionality, he was cautiously optimistic that this could truly change the face of robotics forever. Though, not everyone shares that opinion. While there's no doubt that all of this is exciting, there's also a lot of criticism and backlash to this entire presentation. For starters, there are many who claim that the robot just isn't very impressive. AI researcher Philip Pinuski let his feelings on Optimus be known. He referred to the demonstration as, quote, next level cringeworthy, saying that the robot's skills were just embarrassing. He clarified that the robot will likely fall more than it will do anything else. His thoughts were summed up by him saying that none of it was cutting edge, 
the whole thing was a scam and that he should hire real experts before he makes his next presentation. Clearly his next AI should be called Megatron just for conceptual symmetry. Then there are some who say that the suggested price is not likely to be that low. Many seem to think that this will end up becoming a novelty for the very, very wealthy more than it will be a normal purchase for every home. Compare this to the price of a Tesla, which is nowhere near as cheap as Musk initially said that it would be. Even if Musk's dreams of an all-purpose robot come to fruition, that doesn't mean that the future will behave accordingly. While it could lead to a Star Trek style utopia where people no longer need to work or even need money, it's also possible that it could lead to a future full of poverty where humans can't compete with a robo workforce. The other problems people have with this technology don't have so much to do with the current limitations with the tech, but the habit Musk has of overselling things. He's a guy who makes more empty promises than Bethesda promoting a new Fallout game. Anyone who has been following Musk's career knows that for every one revolutionary technology he said one of his companies will produce, there are like 100 setbacks. While Tesla Motors has made electric cars cool, it has still failed to make them as widespread across the country and the world as Musk implied they would be. Largely because, like I said, they're still pretty expensive and they don't have the ease of gas-powered cars just yet. Then there's the self-driving technology, which even he has admitted has been much more of a challenge than he thought it would be. A world of completely electric cars that no one has to operate is still something out of science fiction than it is reality at the moment. Even SpaceX, which makes the biggest promises yet, has hit several high-profile snags over the years especially with their big product, Starship. Things seem to be optimistic for a Martian landing in the near future, but for a long time there, that optimism seemed to be misplaced. Many both outside of Musk's companies and inside his companies have criticized his management style for setting huge goals for his employees before anyone knows if they can actually reach them. Creating a robo-paradise with no poverty is by far his most unattainable goal yet. So while it's possible we could all have our own robot butler soon, it's also more possible that this tech will be more of the Zune of the robotics world than it will be the iPod. And if you don't know what a Zune is, that's exactly the point. My issue with this whole idea is that a world of robot butlers is exactly how you get an iRobot situation. Somebody have Will Smith on standby just in case. So will Musk's robot promises come true, or is this another Twitter fiasco all over again? Only time will tell.